Welcome to Angola, a very beautiful, rich and fun country located in Africa. We are very known for our dance Kuduru, Semba, Kizomba and Tahashinha. Angola, derived from the Kibundu word for king, Angola. The seventh largest country in Africa, which is divided into 18 provinces. It shares a border with four different countries in Africa, which is Namibia, DRC, Zambia, and Republic of Congo. In Angola, we have a very beautiful country, very beautiful people, delicious food, and also very smart and kind people. Angola is growing and developing into a very beautiful country. You can explore Angola by visiting the capital Luanda, other provinces like Namibia, Benguela, Wambuila and many other provinces in Angola. We have the second largest tropical forest in the whole world. It's named Floresta de Mayombe. It's located in Cabinda. Our national animal is named Palanca Negra Gigante, which is translated to black antelope. It's the last species of that animal and you can only find it in Angola, in Malaysia. So please come visit Angola. Angola has a population of 35 million people and 10 million, they are here in Luanda, the capital city, the most expensive city in the world. Angola is one of the richest countries in the whole world. We have the second largest reserve of oil in the whole Africa, just after Nigeria. We also have a very young population, beautiful ladies. And uh, we just had the Miss Universe, which comes also from Angola in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome Miss Universe 2011, Leila Lopez. And uh, you can also find some minerals like gold, diamonds, and all that you can imagine. We have some untouchable places where no one ever went there. Joe, I have traveled, but I've never seen this view anywhere in the world. Let me tell you something. I told you guys when God was creating other continent, he was kind of exhausted because all his time when he was creating this world, he took his time to create Africa for Africans. And I have been telling you that it's about time you explore Africa just to see these views, man. My goodness. Whoa. I speak Portuguese? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What is this called? In Portuguese. I had Bonita, so I just want to tell you that this view is Bonita. All this beauty that you see from here, it was built with the oil money. Main windows are Angola. Angola is a country of riches, beauty, and struggles. Angola was first settled by sun hunter-gatherers before the Bantu people invaded the land. It was later colonized by the Portuguese, and on the 11th of November 1975, Angola gained its independence from Portugal after 14 years of bloody war struggles. After independence, Angola entered a long period of civil war that lasted until 2002 one of the longest civil wars in africa which killed 
over 500 to 800,000 people and over 1 million people were internally displaced. This is the sad story of this beautiful country that you see today. Have you ever met a nation more resilient? If your answer is no, then welcome to Angola, Luanda. So the question many ask themselves is, true, how is the Angolan culture? How is it in Angola? Well, I want to explain to you how Angola is or for in a vision of someone who has left the country and came back. Angolans are a nation that are fun and loving and so welcoming. And like I mentioned in my introduction, they are the most resilient people. Because despite all odds and all struggles, and I mean financial struggles, our economy, we're talking about inflation, social, and many more aspects, Angolans never cease to give up looking constantly to better their lives and better the lives of the people that they love. This is a nation that is awake, I would say, 24-7. We're talking about Ajmamai Zungeiraj. We're talking about the youth that live in far places but wake up early in the morning to go to school, to go to uh, university, and so much more. I'm talking about you, my resilient people. Why are they so happy this morning? a beautiful day for us because we are alive and so it's marvelous that's why they are just celebrating yes angola is one of the most expensive countries in the world how is life living in luanda as a foreigner it is fun exciting full of color uh, full of culture i can't explain it it's too much <laughs> it is most expensive one of the most expensive cities i think top three luanda is the most expensive for everyone or just for expats like you for everyone for everyone africans for expats for for everyone have you ever heard about our currency in angola we use kwanzaa and our national language is portuguese so portuguese is the number one country in angola and sometimes you would ask yourself how do you say hello hola Boa tarde is hello, good afternoon. Hola, bom dia is hi, good morning. In closing this chapter, it is so thrilling to know that young Africans are coming together to show you a different view or a different aspect of, of Africa. We are so tired of the old folks' tale that Africa is bad and Africa is a country never to visit. And in this chapter of Luanda, Angola, we are showing you that Africa is truly a wonder and a beauty in the eyes of the beholder and you are that beholder and as an african beholder i'm so glad that i went on a journey to change the narrative of africa anytime i found myself in a new african country i get super excited you know why not just because of you but I get a chance to change my perception that I also had about my own continent. Listen, if I did not decide to go on a journey to showcase the beauty of Africa, this beauty right here would have been hidden. You know what? In Angola, we say hola because they speak Portuguese in here. But let me ask you, have you ever seen this part of Angola anywhere? Believe me or not, this is the Africa that they've been hiding from you. Yes, I'm not here to tell you that everything in Angola is perfect, but I'm also letting you know that places like this do exist in Africa. Welcome to Angola, people. We are in Luanda, 
as you see, I have the sea at my right. I have beautiful skyscrapers at my left. This is our capital city. Here you'll find good music, good people. You have really, really, really good time here. And I'm sure that you will love this country. Welcome to Angola. In Portuguese, we say, isto é lindo. It means, this is so beautiful. Like, I'm an African and I don't believe that this is Luanda, Angola. My goodness, I mean, this is where the big boys chill. This is where they have all their fun. And can you see it? Come closer, come, come, come closer. This is more like a dog for yacht in Angola. It's more like a club where people coming here to park their yacht. I mean, as an African, do you know that something like this exists in Luanda? That's amazing, man. You don't think it's super cool to see people owning yachts in here? <laughs> it's very cool, man. <laughs> Damn, man, these are Angolans, bro. Yeah, like this, are, so look at that. So private people living their best life, they're living around the ocean, so they just yeah, want to yeah. make sure they live in the ocean life. And they have a good life. <laughs> Let's pray we own an, a yacht someday. <laughs> <laughs> They say traveling is the best teacher ever, and it's so true. The more you travel, the more you see similarities in different countries that you go to. Hi, man, how are you? Oh, wow. That's so cool, man. <laughs> you know what? If you have been to Maputo, Mozambique, it looks exactly the same as Luanda, Angola. Why do I say so? The acacia trees, if you go to Maputo, you will see acacia trees everywhere. It's exactly the same thing in here. When you go to um, Maputo, the way of building in Maputo is exactly the same way in Luanda. And I'm here walking in the street. It gives me a vibe of being in Maputo. Wow. This is really beautiful, man. I know and believe that this is not your everyday Africans that you always see them on TV. I mean, it's kind of like beautiful to see young black kids learning how to skate, man. That's awesome. I am falling in love with this beautiful city. It's a busy, bustling city, so full of life. People are living their best life in this city, even though I think it's the most... Hey! What's up? What up? What up? You see, everybody is living a happy life. But one thing that I really adore in this city that I wish we can replicate in my country is the fact that ordinary people come here, sit down. This is like a, more like a green city, right? So you see behind me, these are trees. I mean, let me tell you something. I love the fact that Luanda is a green city. Wherever you see a building, you see countless of trees around it, which means whenever you take care of nature, nature will also take care of you. And that's what is happening in Luanda. But one thing that I really enjoy the most in this beautiful city is the fact that wherever you go in the city, there are gardens like this for ordinary people to come and sit and just talk to their loved one. But hey, if you don't know, Luanda is a love city. Everyone in here is in love with somebody. It's rather unfortunate that I'm not in love at the moment because everywhere I go, it's either they're kissing or they are romancing in every corner in this city. So if you don't know, welcome to the love city in Africa. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon and we are on our way to Musulu Island! <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm always scared using boats in Africa but as soon as 
They're going to tell me that I have my life jacket. I'm good to go. Yeah, yeah, of course. What is so unique about that island? Well, it's a very tropical island mm. with beautiful people and beautiful water, very clean water. Let's go check it out. <laughs> What a beautiful island with so many beautiful houses and exclusive resort. I feel like this is a paradise on its own. The beaches in here are super clean and I feel like it's exclusive in here because I see less people on the beach in here as compared to beaches in Luanda. Another day in Angola, we found ourselves at uh, Kalandula chasing one of the tallest and the largest waterfall. And you know, I love waterfalls. I cannot come in here without, whoa, 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 <laughs> my goodness, wow. Look at that! Woo. What an incredible view, man! Listen, I will repeat myself. When God was creating the earth, he made sure that he spent all the six days in Africa. He made sure that this waterfall is in Angola, one of the biggest and the tallest waterfalls in Africa. Welcome to the Kalandula Falls. Man, I feel like crying, bro.